these people in town think it's all romance and stuff. It's a long ways from that. Well, low pay and hard work. That's all I know about it. I lived in the country half my life, then I moved to town about two years. And I don't like town. You get to play every day. You don't have to work. Now, there's a lot of work to it, but the most thing, I guess, is fun to me. You get paid for it. My great granddad came over here from England and started punching cows. And my granddad worked for ants all his life, and my dad's working for one now, and just kind of family tradition, I guess. My great granddad, Nolan, lived down here, and well, he got killed in 1893. And then I've had two or three great uncles, and then uncles, my granddad, and my dad is both, or all of them worked here, so that'd make me the fourth. But I don't. What else you want to know? <laughs> I don't know. Back up, man. There you go, I don't know a whole lot right now, you know, or nothing. You know, I'm not the best cowboy in the world or nothing. But uh, there's a few guys, you know, around on ranches you can kind of pick out and watch. You know, like Gary, he works here. You know, I kind of watch him a lot. Just old cowboys that have been working for a long time. Keep their mouth shut and their eyes open and watch some old person there they think knows what he's done. Or that's what my dad told me. Cows are all different, the way they turn and everything, how to turn one, make one go a certain way. You just need to be in, there's one spot that you can be in. You just kinda, you can't really teach anybody that. You gotta kinda just know, I guess. If you watch, look around. He better go somewhere, you red sucker. Yeah, a has got to really want to do it to start with. If he don't want to do it, he shouldn't shouldn't ever start it. If you want to do it, it's a good life. You don't want to, it, don't pay that good, but it's a good life. But if you if you if you want to make money, it's a bad occupation to get into. You know, if you really want to get make a bunch of money, well, you might well forget that. This is the same type of wagon they've always had here. Well, I've been, I was born here in 52 and this same, same type, this is not the same wagon they had then. It was, I think this wagon come in being in the late 50s. You know, we're not trying to pretend or show or, you know, this isn't a dude ranch setting or anything. It's, it's the real deal. And, you know, you can just look around and see how nasty it gets. I mean, it's, it gets pretty nasty if you stay in one camp too long. And, you know, it sets in here and rains two or three days. It's not very enjoyable. And, well, it's, you know, it's a tradition that we don't want to let die. You know, it's just sort of part of the, part of the cowboy life. <laughs> I've been raised on ranches all my life, and this town's not any place to keep raising boys, especially those two of mine, because, you know, they probably want a cowboy for a living. I, I kind of hope they don't, because it's dying out. Things are changing so much. But at least they can look back later. I'd give them something in their life that they'll really mount something to them, I imagine. I hope. Just like those horses there. So, but my kids or my grandkids will know that I used to cowboy or something, or I still cowboy. I'd much rather stay country than all turn into towns and then, cause I lived in the town. I don't like town. Well, you're not hearing cars going by on highways and people talking at night and lights and all. So I'd rather much keep the country. In town, after those boys moved to town, they'd, after about a month, they come to me one day and say, Daddy, so what do these town kids do up there? I said, it ain't nothing to do, which they used to run around these hills down here and everything. And it just, 
different. I mean, a different way of life. That's one of the refreshing things about uh, places like the Pitchfork, that, uh, that it, it is unchanging to a great extent. And you see scenes here taking place today that are no different than pictures that were taken 50, 60, 70 years ago. What happened to the trestle bridge? Who took away the railroad tracks? How long's it been since I've been back? How long's it been since I've been back? There's not a perfect ranch, not a perfect place. I mean, I've, if it was, everybody would be working there. I mean, that's all the outfits I've ever lived on. This place right here, this country right here, to me is as close as I ever felt to have been at home. <laughs>